Hello there. How you doing? Welcome to the video. Nice to see you. How you doing? Sit right back, relax, and buckle up. It's time to boogie. Let the show begin. Only take a few minutes of your time. Make a smile, maybe giggle, or blow your mind. So do a little dance and like this video. What is going on, guys? Sidearms here, aka Sidearms, and we are back with another episode of Cruel Pixelmon. I almost said Pixelmon Island, actually. Holy crap, I actually like made a conscious effort not to say Pixelmon Island, but I, I said it aside anyways. But, uh, welcome, guys, back to this series. I apologize I haven't posted in a while, but if you guys watched the last episode, I did say that we pretty much run out of stuff to do in terms of entertaining content. Uh, besides like me grinding stuff out and actually if I'm being honest I haven't been on the server since then well I, I've been on like just to look around just to see like the IVs and stuff again of my Pokemon uh, But not to do any grinding or anything like that So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna you know just straighten out at least Rayquaza I, I believe or at least get him ready I suppose uh, I don't know for sure if we'll get him finished. I do want to tell a story though. Okay mouth just chill Okay, whatever man um but, uh, if you guys saw the last Pixelmon Island episode, I, it's Pixelmon Island episode, sorry, I need to start, like, saying my words better, because I, I was, I was re-watching, uh, some videos, and I was like, damn, you guys can understand what I'm saying, like, none of the time, I'm just joking, but, <laughs> um, hold on, really, really quick, let me find those items, I guess it's not here, but, uh, basically, I have a story I want to tell you guys. If you guys watched the last Pixelmon Island episode, I talked about it on there, but uh, I was telling D4 about it, actually just like t like 10 minutes ago, and I realized that I like haven't, I didn't just like, I didn't say all the information, I guess. Like there, there's a lot more of the story I feel like that I just haven't said. And you know, maybe you guys don't watch that series, like maybe some of you guys don't watch it, or maybe this is like the first time you heard of it or just want to hear more about it or whatever. So I know that some of you guys actually do for some odd reason care about me, and no, I'm just joking. <laughs> but I just want to let you guys know about my experience. This is story time with sidearms, and I'm notoriously bad at telling stories. A uh, story that would normally take someone like 10 minutes to tell takes me about like 30 or something like that. So it's not, you know, nothing, nothing crazy. But I'm buying these stuff, or this stuff, just because we have plenty of cash. And also, uh, Pixelmon, um, what would you call these? Uh, EV? Items, maybe? Whoops, I forgot to mute my sky. Bad YouTuber, here we go. Uh, EV items, sorry, I spelled items wrong. My bad, this is kind of like, I apologize, just in advance. So I need the power bracer and the anklet. Okay, awesome, very cool. And then what, protein is for attack and carbos is for speed. Okay, so basically, uh, a lot of you guys brought up a good point in the last episode. I have all this like money, so 990. I pretty much have max cash on this on this Pixelmon server. So what I need to do is I need to go and I guess just fuck myself because none of these these shops aren't selling the things I'm looking for. I'm looking for like I said, protein and carbos. I don't think we have any at home, uh, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to check. And maybe by then it'll like be daytime and stuff like that, so I'll be able to get like a refresh of items. But um. What I want to do, though, is tell you guys more about that story, like I was saying, and hopefully, I don't know. Man, shit. Uh, I guess let me... We're going to use this Groudon, probably, huh? Slash EVS, or slash IVS, space uh, 5. Yeah, that's okay. Well, here, how about this? I'm just going to buy a bunch of whatever this is. I'm going to buy, like... Oh, crap, that's way too much cash. 14? I'll buy that, and then Zinc is for special defense. We might need that for Lugia at some point. Gonna buy 13 of those. Calcium is for some shit. Fuck it. I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> like that. 10 of those. And then I don't think this one had anything else. Oh, did I buy HP ups already? I think I did. But, uh, actually, that t that takes a whole bunch of fucking cash, man. Sorry, sorry for saying fucking. But I might be, uh, you know, I don't think anyone has a problem with this just because of my history with, you know, you guys being my viewers and stuff like that. But, um,. I might be cursing a lot this episode, but anyways, not on to the story. So let me start from the beginning, okay? So basically, uh, you know, I, I, I have a car. I need, I need to drive around to place sometimes, a.k.a. go to get food and, like, leave, I guess, pretty much. Don't really go anywhere else, which is fine. And no, I'm just joking. Uh, I, I mean, I go sometimes to eat with my friends and stuff like that, but... Um, oh, why am, I, why am I walking? I can fly. You can fly, son. What is that? Is that a shiny gold bat? Hold on. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted easily, but this might be... I know it's not like the most important. Uh, it's just a boss one. It's okay. Screw it. But, um. 
So, I guess from the beginning. My, okay, so, okay, okay, let me just chill for a second. I eat the th th Thor sword a little bit. Okay, see, I'm already mixing my stuff up and I haven't even started the story. Basically, uh, my car had some issues and it was a dealer's fault, so I'm gonna tell that story right now. So, hopefully, if you guys don't wanna watch, that's fine. Feel free not to watch. Like, you, none of you guys are obligated to watch or anything like that, so uh, I'm just gonna talk about my experiences and, like, what. You know, I, I thought was wrong and, and and stuff like that. You know, just basically my, my opinions of story time with sidearms, okay? Like I was saying. So, without further ado, let me start the story. So, basically, I, uh... Fuck, none of this stuff, like I was saying, guys, basically. Um, but, what I... Okay, so, two, about two months ago, uh, I went to go get an oil change in my car, and, uh, let me just stay, say that, you know, I, I know, you know... I know very minimal, like I know very basic things about cars. Like I know some stuff, but I I, I don't I don't know how to change like the oil or anything like that. Or I, I don't know like what a normal oil pressure thing is, or like an oil a normal like transmission temperature and stuff like that. So there's full disclaimer. I'm I'm pretty I'm a, I'm a pretty big noob when it comes to that stuff. Um, like in terms of the the numbers and stuff like that. But anyways. I got an oil change two months ago on my car, and, you know, everything was fine. The car is, like, fine, I guess. I mean, there's nothing, no problems with it. So, uh, basically, I got the oil change, and then about a week ago, yeah, about a week ago, my, I was going to get food, or, like, I was with my friend or something like that, and, uh, I guess, what am I, what am I doing right now? Let me try to figure out what I'm trying to do really quick, but I guess I can just camp at this shop, man. But, um, I was coming home. And when I got home, um, my dad was outside, and he was I, he was doing like yard work or something. He was like mowing the grass or something, something like that. Um, he, I and I, I didn't notice this whenever I pulled out, but I pulled back in, and he he stopped me. He said, "Wait, get out of your car." I'm like, "It's no no big deal right now, you know nothing." Okay, hold on, I'm. Stalling because I'm getting like burps out of nowhere, but like it's it's not even like a full burp It's like a mini burp that just completely distracts you and doesn't let you do anything. But anyways um, He showed me this puddle on the ground which I had seen before but I, I didn't think twice about it I thought it was just you know nothing crazy. I thought it was just a uh, a uh, Like water or something, you know because it, it, it rains sometimes and maybe water got down there or something, you know, but uh, basically Man, this music is is killing me. This this flute. I I, I love the Pixelmon music, but this flute one is really not not my favorite to say the least. But um, I he showed me the puddle, and it was he was like, "This is like probably oil." And I said, "Oh well, I don't know what to really do." He was like, "Should I call the dealer and like tell him?" I guess. And then he's like, "Yeah, I just wanted to show you." And then like he kind of walked me through it. He's like, "Look how." Like, the, the, the light's reflecting off of it, like, it's kind of rainbowy, I guess, which makes sense. Like, I've seen oil in, like, parking lots and stuff before, like, where, um, I guess, you know, cars have been parked and they have been leaking oil, so just, you see oil there sometimes. I don't know. You, you guys know what I mean, hopefully. But, I, uh, I, I got back in the car and I, I parked it and uh, that was, like... I, I wouldn't say what is happening is my spacebar glitch. Okay, anyways, but um, it, I, I, I'd say it was more about like a week and a half or two weeks ago. I was, I'll say a week ago for, you know, for just the ease of you know saying you know seven days or stuff like that. Finally, Carbos. Okay, I'll buy seven of these, I guess now and then. Sorry, I might, I'm gonna stop this story a couple times just because I am very bad at multitasking, so it's gonna be kind of hard for me. So. Rayquaza, right now you have 11, so I can give you nine of these. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, I, well, one more, but, uh, yeah, might as well. Okay, so Carbos is fine. All right, I'm already done with that. Okay, actually, we need some for Kyogre, too. Um, eventually will, at least. I'll just buy 15 of them. Who cares? But, uh, so... Where was I at? I, I, I made the appointment. I'm sorry, guys. I, I know this might, like, trigger some of you or something like that. I hope you guys can just bear with me. Uh, as you, Yeah, you just, you guys know. But I, I feel like by now, the only people that are watching are the people that really want to hear the story and, like, understand that I'm really bad at, like, this kind of stuff. So I completely apologize, like I said before, uh, for my bad storytelling. But anyways, um, 
I I made that appointment to go to the dealership, and you know, with the whole Labor Day weekend thing, why is not why is it not letting me go down? Man, what? I uh, do I need to just break a window or something? This is crazy. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of here. I, I feel like it's okay for me to break this window just because I, I don't know if my thing's messed up or whatever, but I just broke the window. Hopefully no one minds. Uh, did. Okay, nice. See, landed it, landed it. <laughs> but, okay, I made the appointment and I got to, um... Okay, here, here. I, I, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm, like, so messed up. I'm fine. I'm just bad at telling stories, but... It was, you know, how how was Labor Day weekend this weekend, basically? So, you know, uh, they, they were making it work on Monday, and I guess the dealership that I, you know, went to to get the oil change was, uh, like, you know, had a lot of customers to take care of, which is fine. You know, I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, uh, people got to have their cars taken care of and stuff like that, so, and they, they got, you know, other customers to deal with. But I called to make an appointment. They, they, okay, I called to ask what I should do, like, as far as, do I make an appointment or do I just stop and drop it by? Because, you know, I need it fixed at my earliest, at, like, their earliest convenience, I guess. Because I need to, you know, be able to drive. And, you know, I can drive my dad's car and stuff, but, I mean, my dad needs his car, too. So, I mean, it's like, man, what, what, you think, what, what am I, dude? <laughs> I have a billion cars? I mean, I know I say sidebars eight cars, but not really. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. Um, there's that word again. Uh, I made the appointment, and they were like, okay, so the earliest we can see you is on Tuesday, which is which is today, the day I'm recording this. You guys will see this on Wednesday. Uh, actually, today is, yeah, today is Tuesday. You guys will see this on Wednesday. Um, so it was at, like, Wednesday, early morning, and I got out of bed. I was really tired. I actually could not sleep the night before. I think I got, like, maybe 30 minutes of sleep. Which is, you know, more than some people, but I feel like still anyone with 30 minutes of sleep will be kind of messed up. So I had to, you know, get, I, I got up, took a shower, you know. I, I, I needed to, to look and smell fresh when I was talking to the dealer people. So I got there, and of course, I mean, I sort of, you know, just with people being, like, lazy. And that that's not dissing people or anything like that, because I'm, I'm lazy too, you know. Like, it's, I mean, it's, it's fine, I understand. Uh, and th also, this goes without saying, but if, like, someone you know, or, like, your mom or dad works at a Chevy dealership, or any dealership, matter of fact, like, it doesn't, I'm not saying all dealership people are, like, you know, bad or whatever, so just don't think I'm saying that, um, but I'm just, you know, for the sake of this, I'm just going to, okay, whatever, man, what is happening? Oh, soundproof? Oh, my gosh. I'm messing up so hard, <laughs> but I... I went to the dealership, I took a shower, whoops, I went to the dealership uh, after I took a shower and stuff, and what happened was, I I left my car there, uh, you know, which is fine, I had, to get a, I had to get an Uber out, you know, like, I had to get an Uber while I was at the dealership and wait for it to come and stuff like that, and the dealership is, like, 30 minutes away from my house, so it was, I mean, it wasn't terrible, like, the cost or whatever, I mean, I guess you, I really didn't have any other options, so it's not, I mean, what am I supposed to do, you know? Um, so, I, I paid for the Ubers, uh, one, two, the, one, I guess one back t to home, uh, and then, you know, I gave them my phone number, they said, you know, since we don't know for sure if it's oil yet, I said, yeah, it's fine, I mean, I guess do whatever you need to do, and, uh, <laughs> I was, by the way, I'm gonna be exaggerating a little bit how I talk to them, like, just so, like, you guys can laugh, so, like, when I say, you know, how about I fuck your wife and stuff like that? I didn't actually say that, you know. I, I obviously you guys know I'm, you know, I don't get mad at a lot of stuff, but with the money that you pay for cars and like for the services and stuff like that, you'd expect, you know, some pretty top tier, or you know, some, you know, some kind of service that's worth the money at least. So, anyways, um, I. I, I left in my car. I, I they, they're like, when's all, when like when did you change your oil? I said, oh, like two months ago, or whatever. I was like, I you know, don't you have like the thing? I, I didn't say this, but the the person pulled it up. It was it was a dude. Uh, the guy pulled it up. Okay, not to assume genders. I'm just joking. But it was, the guy pulled it up, and he was like, okay, so you got your oil changed two months ago, and like you said, it's leaking. Uh, I said, yeah. I mean, that's I think that's that. But I mean, I could. I, I'm not like the expert. You know, I'm not an expert on what oil is or what you know 
AC coolant is and stuff like that. So he's like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, so he, he understands, you know, it's fine. Uh, not everyone is well versed in uh, auto repair, I guess, or I, I, I don't know, stuff like that. But um, I, we did that, and I got the car. I gave the car keys to him, and he like put like the plastic down and stuff to so he could drive it back. And I left the car there, of course, and uh, on, you know, before I left, he's like, so we're going to have to, you know, inspect it and see what's wrong. So we'll probably have it fixed, whatever it is, by 2 or 3 p.m., like in the afternoon. So I was like, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's like, uh, my, my, what am I, re what what options do I really have here? I didn't say that, but I was like, yeah, that's cool. Um, but that's what I was thinking in my head. Uh, so I got... You know, I, I got I opened up the Uber app. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Chevrolet or Uber. Just to just to point that out, I'm just saying these things as this is like what I use. So just just to fully get that out there, this video is not a sponsored video. So yeah, uh, got I opened up the Uber app, got the Uber. You know, it's fine. I got my drive back, and then uh, I was at home. I maybe stayed an hour with my family, and then I I got a call back um, from like the dealership, and the the guy who like I talked to before was talking to me, and he said that they found out what the problem was, and they got it fixed. Apparently, this is what he said, okay? I Some people made fun of me in the comments of the other video. It's like, I, I cringed when Side, you know, was talking about car stuff. I was like, what? Well, I, I, this, okay, whatever. It's okay, I guess. It's <laughs> but, um, anyways, I got, uh, I got a call back, and he said the, 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 like, screws or the bolts or something like that on the oil filter itself or some like yeah okay so he said some the this i'll just put this in my terms the screws on the oil filter were not turned like enough like they weren't turned properly to where you know it's supposed to be and you know where um you know it's not supposed to let out stuff i guess like where it's not you know you're, you're not gonna have any issues in terms of um like it leaking, I guess. You know that that's a that's a good way of putting it. I guess I I suppose. Sorry for saying like repeating this stuff over and over again, but uh, and I on on the phone right there, and that's something that really, you know, I'm sure. I mean, this is a problem with for all people, but just like paying someone to do something and then not doing the like job or the thing that you expect them to do, uh, but th this is kind of even worse. So. I told him on the phone, I said, okay, so basically, and this is, I'm very proud of myself for this, by the way. Uh, I said, okay, so basically, it was dealer negligence that, like, I, I ha I'm having all these issues right now because of dealer negligence. And he said, uh, I mean, he said he's sorry and stuff like that. I said, no, it's, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I know it's not your fault individually, but it's someone at your dealership. It's like when you're... You know, I, I didn't know if the dude was a manager or not, so I was just like, it's someone there, uh, because, I mean, I, I took it to your dealership. So, uh, anyways, uh, I was like, okay, so what, you know, is there anything we can do to kind of help me? Because that's pretty ridiculous. I could have, I, I, I said this, I said I could have went to Joe's, you know, uh, oil change repair place. I, I actually said that. Uh, and I, I said, I, I could have done that. I could have went to some kind of, like, you know, some kind of independent um, repair shop and got it fixed there, you know? But I assume that, you know, since you guys are like a Chevy dealer, a certified Chevy dealer, you guys would know best. And I actually said this. I said, but clearly not. Uh, and he, I know, I, I that might have been a little bit mean for me to say, but I feel like I'm kind of, you know, I'm not in the wrong here. Uh, so just let me know, I guess, what you think. I guess at the end, but just, just listen to the whole story and then let me, let me know, I guess. So I was like, uh, so, you know, I could have taken this to, you know, anywhere, but I took it to you guys because you guys are a certified Chevy dealer and you guys, you know, are supposed to know this kind of stuff. Like you guys told me that you would take care of this and all this, all, all this, you know, all that, that kind of different stuff, you know, a dealer is supposed to be able, if it's, if it's certified by Chevrolet and like they call themselves a Chevrolet dealer then they're supposed to do all this stuff. But anyways. Um, he was like, and I said, you know, can you do anything for me? Cause now I have like, I, I've had to go through all these like hoops and stuff to be able to, to do this. Like I had to take out an Uber and I'm gonna have to get another one. And he said, yeah, we gave you a free car wash, which by the way, they do anyway. 
I, I remember when I got my oil change, they said, we hooked you up with a car wash. Or he's like, we just did like a car wash like we do to everyone or something like that. He said, we washed your car. And I said, okay, thanks. Like, that, that was two two months ago whenever I got the, the oil change. So, now he's like, oh, we got you a free, uh, like, we just washed your car. And I said, oh, okay. And then I, I didn't say anything else to the guy on the phone. Okay, hold on. Lee4 is texting me. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I he was team speaking me. But let me, actually, I don't know. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna have to hurry this up because the guys, I think the guys are waiting on me. Or they're, like, just chilling, but I just don't want to chill with them. But, I, uh, man, I, so I hung up the phone with him because I knew, you know, if, if I wanted to get real results, I'd have to go get there in person. I have to go get my car anyways. But basically he said, you know, my car is ready, so you can come get it now. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll be over there and like, within the hour. So the first, I opened up the Uber app again. And I got an Uber to the thing, like another 30 minutes away. Uh, so I got there and I talked to the only, well, the only person that was available was this, this like, uh, and I, I don't, I, don't, I guess I don't even know why I'm bringing this up because you guys gonna be like, oh, side, you're gonna, you're saying that because she's a girl, she's not, you know. But the only person that was available was this lady that I, you know, usually there's one person that I talk to, like I talked to him the whole time, but I guess he was on lunch break. But there was this lady, I was like, hey, uh, I'm here to pick up my car. I don't know, like. If you have the file for that or whatever, uh, but I just need to know like what I need to do in order to pick that up. And also, if you could, uh, could I please speak to like the 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 service manager, like the service supervisor, because you know I that like because of dealer negligence, I've had to do all this crazy stuff. And she was like, yeah, sure. I mean, she she was really nice. It's I mean, it's not her fault. Obviously, she's just like the desk person. So she was like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, speak to this guy over here on the other end, but he's assisting a customer right now. So just go go over to like the, the checkout area, I guess, and get, give them your last name and I, uh, you know, they'll get your car for you. So I went over there, I went over to the, the desk place and there was two people working at this. It was this lady and then a dude. It was, it was, you know, and uh, turned out the dude there was like the, like the, the, the big boss of service. Like he was like top of the line person if you needed if you had a problem with um with like service stuff or you know like he he would he would know what to do like he's the he's the he's the service manager i guess is his job title i'm not exactly sure uh i have his business card but i didn't exactly look at his title you know afterwards but he told me like he's a service manager uh so i was like okay so uh would i can i please talk to you um about you know these issues and stuff and then the lady came over to me and I actually that yeah okay so maybe I should have said that maybe I did say it or maybe I didn't but the the lady that was at the desk actually came uh, behind me and said uh, this is actually like the, the the service manager and so it's like she's like you should talk to this person and I said okay thank you you know she she left afterwards um so the guy was like okay can I get your last name blah 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 and then I was like hey uh, yeah it was like thanks man I appreciate your help I need to talk to you though because, uh, be you know, I feel like I was kind of wrong in this situation, and I, I want to talk to you about, you know, I just want to talk to you about it, is what I said. I, I didn't say I want to talk to you about getting some kind of compensation or anything like that, but I, clearly that's what I was looking for, I guess, so he, he knew. Uh, so on the way over to his office, which was not, not far away from, like, the, the check-in desk or whatever, um, he was telling me, like he, he he first off he asked me he's like hey do you take your car through the car wash or do you hand wash it I said I I hand wash it and you know I I I was like I, I smiled because what what I was thinking in my head I was like trying to make a joke you know I, I wasn't gonna say it out loud but I was like damn man first you fuck up my car and now you're making fun of how I washed my car <laughs> uh, I I didn't say that because I you know I'm not friends with him or anything like that so I I didn't think that would be appropriate but I uh you know I was like oh, I, I I hand wash it or whatever so. Um, he was like, okay, so, uh, next time you're in the area, uh, we'll hook you up with a free car wash. And I was like, okay, awesome, thank you. Uh, you know, I wasn't talking shit or anything, so I was just like, thank you, because, you know, a free car wash, a free car wash, I mean, that's fine, it's fine, it's good. Uh, but, um, so I, I got that, we sat down at his desk, and here's a big play I made, I think, because I think, you know, in these situations, I get really nervous, because they see me... Like, these are, like, middle-aged guys that have stuff, like, figured out. Like, you know, they have their, their professions and stuff, and they, they see, like, this 
this fucking kid. It's like he's oh this kid's complaining to me like who who's he like what what, what why is he he has he's so young he can't you know say this stuff you know like he's just, I I don't know if that's generalizing or whatever I don't know what you even call that but you know generally I feel like if you're negotiating if you're uh, if you're negotiating with an older person, and you're like a you know like a young adult, then you're kind of at the at a disadvantage because he's like, oh, he's a fucking kid. What does he know? You know, basically. So we said, I, I told him we got to his office. He was standing up. He he did not invite me to sit down or anything like that. He and I said, hey, do you mind if we sit down? Or I, I said, hey, can I sit down? And then he I sat down and he I guess followed my lead and he also sat down. So after that, I uh, told him basically, and whenever I. Whenever I kind of talk about negotiations and stuff like that, especially with people, like, with stuff I don't really know, like the car thing, I mean, I could only tell what what I know, and, like, I don't know, obviously, like, oh, you know, the, the screw 69 was, un, it was loose in, uh, in the oil filter or, you know, whatever, uh, so... I, I can only go with, you know, what, what I know and I would assume, and I, I try to, like, tell them, I was like, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I said, as far as I know... The reason why my as as you as you know probably because he he was like he asked me he's like yeah you you got your oil changed like two months ago so I don't, I don't know why you're having these these issues and like it doesn't seem like you drive that car that much so I was like yeah I don't I don't really drive it uh, I only drive it like whenever I want to go out with like a friend to eat or something like that or just go get food sometimes um, so I was like yeah so basically I shouldn't be having these any of these issues it's like yeah you're you're right so I said. But basically, what I, what I wanted to talk to you about is I had to, uh, you know, I, I had to get an Uber uh, back to home whenever I dropped off the car, and I had to get an Uber to, you know, come bring me here so I can pick up the car. So I said, but that, I mean, that's that's fine. I know that's, like, not your problem or not, you know, not anything you can do about that. Uh, so I was like, but I just, you know, I've there's all these inconveniences. Like, I have to, you know, clean this, like, puddle of oil in the driveway. And, like, you know, stuff like that. And I wasn't able to use my car for, like, two weeks because I didn't know, you know. Because if it's leaking oil, I would assume you're not supposed to drive it. And I actually learned now, obviously, this person might not know what he's talking about uh, in the comments. But someone said that if it had, like, leaked out all the way or something like that. Like, if there was no uh, oil in my engine, like, the engine could have exploded or something like that. So, that, I, I, I didn't know this at the time, I, like, while I was talking to the dude. But I in the Pixelmon Island episode, uh, someone said that, so... I mean, that seems about right to me. Maybe I'm just stupid or whatever, but... Um, so, I'll, I got off pretty lucky, basically, is what I'm saying. that it, it leaked, but it didn't leak to the point where, it, I guess, it damaged the engine uh, or anything like that. So, I, I told them, I was like, so, as far as I know, you know, I got my oil changed here. And uh, because of dealer negligence uh, from one of your engineers or whatever service people, my car was messed up because you guys didn't screw in the screw all the way or something like that. And that's exactly what the guy said on the phone. So I'm not making stuff up, you know? I'm not saying, like, I'm not just saying, like, oh, you know, the reason cause why my oil was leaking is clearly because screw number 69 was not rotated to three and a half times, you know? I, I didn't say stuff like that, obviously. So I just have to be clear that, you know, I, you know, stuff like that, basically. Um, we are running out of food. Uh, so that's actually really unfortunate. I don't have anything to eat. Um, ah, screw it. I'll just fly around, I guess, and go, go cook some potatoes, I suppose. Uh, but, um, I, I said, you know, I told him about the driveway. I told him about the Uber stuff and he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, and I said, so basically, you know, I still want to use, like, I still want to come to you guys because you guys are the closest Chevy dealer to me. And, you know, I, I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's not a lot I can do about that, and I still want to be able to come and, um, to, to come and, like, you know, use, use their service, like, you know, get, get my oil changes there, do whatever yearly services, inspections, whatever they, you know, they want me to, they suggest I do, I suppose, um, there, and I was like, so is there anything you can do to make it easier on me, because I had to, you know, spend this money, to get out here, and I had to, you know, I had to put on all this labor, and I wasn't able to do what I needed to do with my car, you know, like, I was, I couldn't go anywhere for a while, because I, I didn't want to drive my car unless I had to, you know, um, so, he was like, yeah, you know, I completely understand, and he, uh, I said, how, how about some oil changes, is what I said, uh, like, some free oil changes, and he said, yeah, I'm looking at your, like, purchase history, and, like, my car is, like, still under warranty until November, 
Because that's I, I, I bought my car two years ago. Oh, well, it, it'd be two years ago in, in November. So, uh, or whatever. I had a two-year warranty in it, which was, like, in the price of the vehicle or whatever. So he's like, yeah, you're. I don't think, like, you don't drive the car enough to wear, you know, the warranty. Um, like, you'll get another oil change before the warranty. So what I'll do is I'll give you two free oil changes um, whenever, basically. So, you know, after after the warranty. So I, you know, I was like, oh, thank you, man. And, you know, I he... he got two business cards he wrote you know complimentary oil change or whatever you know and he he signed it and then he gave me like the free car wash thing and he's like yeah well if you're in the area just i guess give this to one of our service people and they'll they'll hook you up um so i i did that i got the car uh and then while while i was like while we were sitting down like before this is like i guess i, me- I forgot to mention this fact he was like being very professional i guess he was like can we get someone to pull out his car uh like to the lady that assisted me before at the desk and um while like we while we first entered his office basically so my car was already out there ready to be driven and you know stuff like that so anyways uh i i, I did that i asked for two uh, free oil changes and i so i said how about some free oil changes he gave me the oil changes and then i said how about i fuck your wife too i didn't actually say that but that would have been pretty badass of me and also very rude of me so i'm very happy i didn't say it Cause that you know that's a very dick move. I yeah I'm ex- actually actually very happy I didn't say it. So, um, but yeah anyways, uh, so I guess that's pretty much the story. I drove my car home, and it's fine. Hopefully, you know I don't know. Hopefully this stupid shit doesn't happen again. Cause that was very stressful. Uh, I mean, you spend all this money on a car, man, and like. You know, they're, you take it to a place where it's supposed to be taken care of. Like, they're supposed to know what they're doing. Um, and, you know, and for something... I I mean, like I said before, I'm, I'm no expert on, on car repair or, like, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like an oil change is, like, one of the more simple stuff to do. So maybe, like, one of the service people was, like, maybe having a joke with one of his friends. And he just maybe forgot to, like, screw in all the screws or, like, thought he did, but he didn't. Or so, something something like that, basically. And, you know, I just was very, uh, triggered, uh, I guess, for lack of a better word. I was, I was very upset because, you know, I, I paid money for this, and you guys kind of left me in a bad spot where, you know, I have to do all this crazy stuff. So, I guess that's pretty much it, and I think, uh, I, for those of you who know better than me about this kind of stuff, is it appropriate to ask? So, I'm gonna go get my oil change there in the future, you know, so I can u- utilize those free two oil changes. Um... Uh, but w- is it appropriate for me to ask, like, hey, can I, you know, I'll just stay here while my car gets, you know, its oil changed. Like, can I watch the people do it or something like that? I don't know if that's, like, a stupid thing to ask because, yeah, they get, oh, I should go back to my house. But, um, I, you know, because I want to, you know, make sure that this doesn't happen again. Because I, I, you know, my, my luck recently with like service like i i want to you know i take my parents out to dinner sometimes and we've been you know we we went to outback steakhouse and the our our waitress there was very bad uh so i mean it was very unfortunate like you know my i was trying to do a nice thing for my parents and then it was like it ended up actually being horrible and then same thing at like longhorn steakhouse if you guys have those where you are uh and you know i was like man this like really makes me not want to do anything like this ever again so I, but you know obviously i still want to take out my parents stuff like that but just just not to those restaurants i guess anymore which really you know disappointing because you guys know i like the blooming onions so anyways uh like i was saying though is it appropriate for me to ask um you know can i stay here and watch the people do the oil change and you know i can even bring up the facts like last time you guys did an oil change you know I had to do all this crazy stuff because of dealer negligence. And that's, that's, you know, the word of the day is negligence. If, you know, if there's anywhere, if you guys can use that word to your advantage and, like, while you're negotiating or, like, you know, trying to talk to someone about, you know, them screwing you over, it's like, well, because of, you know, I don't know, but teacher negligence, dealer negligence, you know, serviceman, engineer negligence, you know, some just fi- find a way to use it. It's a very, it's a very cool-sounding word that, uh, you know, you can use to... 
sound very smart, basically. But yeah, so just let me know if it's wrong of me to ask, like, can I, you know, watch the people do it or what, you know, can I, I or should I just bring up the fact, like, last time you guys didn't screw in all the bolts all the way or whatever, you know, for the oil filter. So I just want to, you know, make sure that that happens again. Like, I, I don't want to be, I'm, I'm not going to say this exactly, but I said, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, saying this in a different way. I don't want to be a dick, but just to be sure that this stuff doesn't happen again, can I please, you know, stay here and, you know, watch him do the oil change or something like that, you know? Um, so, let me know on that. Let me know if I'm like a dick for asking for that kind of stuff. I'll tell you that right now, I feel like I'm 100% in the right here. Uh, there's, I mean, if they're supposed to fucking do their job, I, I pay, I mean, I understand people are lazy and stuff like that, but I, I mean, I paid some fucking good money for the fucking shit, like, the service, and they, they're not doing what they're supposed to do, um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry for being triggered, I just, you know, when people don't do what they're supposed to do, is it's kind of frustrating, of course, it's, like, the same for everyone, and I know, I just want to say again, obviously, if, like, your parents or someone you know, you know, are, like, you know, so, like, you know, dealer people or something like that, or, like, they change oil or whatever, I'm not saying all dealer people are, are fucking idiots. I'm just saying the the people in my certain situation fucked up and it led me, you know, it, it made me have a bunch of troubles. So I, I I apologize if anyone was offended, I guess, basically. But I, I, I've, if you guys, you know, watch this whole thing, I feel like you guys know, I mean, if you guys watch this whole thing, first of all, I feel like you're, you've watched me for a while, so you know that I'm not like, you know, I'm not saying mean stuff just for the sake of saying mean stuff and like being an asshole. I'm saying it because I need to get this point across and if I don't fucking say it like I'm saying it, they will not listen and will just write me off as, oh, you know, this stupid ass fucking kid doesn't know what he's talking about. So, you know, and they're actually sort of right, so. But, uh, if you made it this far in the video, I, I guess just let me know. I, I don't really know how, I guess just leave a heart in the comments, please, if you made it this far in the video. I don't know how many of you guys can tolerate, like, my long stories or, like, are interested in hearing this kind of stuff. Uh, but... Just leave a heart in the comments, I guess, if you made it this far. Uh, that'll be our little secret. Like, I'll, I'll be able to know how many of you guys actually watched this. Uh, which, by the way, thank you very much for watching. I, I Again, I really apologize um, for not being, like, like, the greatest storyteller or, like, speaker and stuff like that. And I, I probably miss out on a bunch of details or, like, repeat a bunch of the same stuff. So it might get, you know, kind of weird. But I, you know, I appreciate those of you who still are watching this. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around. Uh, like, really, thank you. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know about the questions I asked and let me know, you know, if you watch this video all the way. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Later, fellas.